please everyone. Um, to meet up to everyone else's expectations. Maybe it was because I'm the baby of the family and I always felt the need to have all the attention. I didn't realize how bad this really was until someone sincerely found me interesting enough to ask me about my own thoughts, my own opinions, and my reasoning behind all of that. Just to get to know who I really am. Always being influenced by my friends, um, my clothing, the music I listen to, even my humor was all for the sake of acceptance and to feel that I was getting the attention that I wanted. And I did all these things, never taking the time to ask myself, do I really even enjoy any of this? And so one night, talking to this guy that I was just getting to know, um, we were asking each other just the typical ice-breaking questions. Like, what do you like to do in your free time? What are your interests? You know, and so he asked me, what's your favorite kind of music? And I was quick to answer with names of artists that were playing on the radio currently or that my friends and I would listen to. And so he asked me, why? Why do you like that stuff? And without a thought process, I just said, because I do, you know? And so he wasn't satisfied. He didn't seem satisfied with that answer. So he asked me again, but why? And who would have thought that a one-worded question would be so difficult for me to answer? Um, so this went on for the rest of the night. You know, he would ask me questions, not satisfied with my short responses. He'd always ask me why. Why? This was such a constant question in our conversation. And I guess it felt like he really wanted to see my true colors, not the colors that other people had painted on me. So he left me pondering this night upon myself, who I really was, and the person that I was becoming. And it was amazing for me to think about and see the difference between a person who just wants to ask questions and a person who really wants to know who I really am. For once in my life, it felt acceptable to be different, even felt cool to be different, and I've never felt that way before. I was encouraged to not fear rejection and to finally think for myself for a change. Because of this amazing guy who has opened my eyes to so many things, I have been inspired to aim at my own expectations and to always have my own reasons for the things that I do. And if it wasn't for that simple, one-worded, yet so complex question, I wouldn't be discovering who I really am. And I realize that you can't please everybody else. So as long as you're pleasing yourself and the people who are important to you, that's all that really matters.